Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of XCOM Long War Season 1. We're about to touch down for a UFA crash site, it's a crashed small, Operation Gaping Knife, and this is on the farm map. Um, we've got uh, quite a good selection of people, uh, so let's hop on in, we're bringing two rookies with us this time. These two over here, get them uh, nicely trained up. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Okay, uh, on the barn map, uh, we've been dropped off right next to the, uh, the UFO, which is both good and bad. We don't want to breach that just yet, um, but what we can do is we can get a sniper up from one of these towers uh, by covering fire while we swing around this way, clear out any uh, aliens along here, and slowly uh, move further forwards and round. This area over here is all just going to be desolate and, uh, and destroyed, if I remember correctly. Um, so hopefully there won't be any, uh, any pots there because there's next to no cover. Um, but we won't find out until we get there. So starting with Arkan Larby. Arkan Larby gets in position. And he could stay there until we've uh, cleared a bit further forwards, then we'll move him up into the... Uh, power over the barn. Everyone else, on the other hand, they can all just move forwards. <laughs> I just uh, realised that uh, Kate is uh, a scout just in the same way that Coach is our scout, so uh, it looks like we've got a bit of a naming theme going on there. Uh, Hitting there now. Regardless, let's head on forwards and, uh, and see. It looks like there's nothing in that barn. Good. So, uh, scout a bit further around to the right. And it looks like we're pretty clear to move everyone forwards, so hot footing. Let's One. do this. Double Two. time. On the move. Three. Even though we know it's uh, clear at this point, um, we still want to be a little bit careful, Ten so four. keeping to cover where possible. And Gibson moving up very slowly with his rocket launcher. Now, I'm expecting that uh, the Gibson's not going to get to fire his rocket, or if he does, it's only going to be on the outsider. Um, every Everyone else, it'd be a little bit of a waste um, getting him blasting all away. Just to obliterate people. Roger that. Still no contact. This is... Uh, Solid copy, Commander. ...remarkably quietly. So much so, I remarked on it. Uh, let's, uh... Got it, moving! Go over here, and, uh... Orders confirmed, on the move. Yeah. I'll be on the other hand. Moving to Start designated positions towards that. And we'll get him up on the roof as soon as we can. 10 4. Go forward to there. Cool, so we've what definitely got contact that? Over, over that side. can't get on top of these, but we can get all the way up on top of this roof. There's a chance that we will um, reach some contacts that direction, but uh, Double time. I think it's uh, one that's worth taking for, for the position that we're going to be in. Look at that field of view. Absolutely amazing. Okay, moving everyone else up there. Heading to that location. Carefully in control fashion. No sign. It's a relatively safe place. 
good. Don't know something good. Let's uh, get to Solid copy, Commander. You over here. Should still have a pretty good field of fire, although really I want to be a steadying aim as I go with the uh, with Gibson. You move up here, it shouldn't uh corner. Right 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 put you in a brilliant place for running any overwatch should anything else uh, come around. And uh we're gonna get uh tank barge. Okay. Covering us on the side. I think that's probably the best. Any weapon in preparation. Anything that might come around. And you can go yes, right sir. out to the flank, fellas. Scout for Ah, it's go time. Ah, drones, okay. This is good. We've got a lot of cover that we can uh, take against them and uh, coming in from all sides. I'm not too uh, too worried about uh, them in general, but for the moment, let's uh, switch across to our sniper and pop one while we're hit. Now he's flying, but it's still an eighty seven percent chance to hit. Laser sight or extra height and that's where the dead eye comes in against the flying target. It eliminates half of it, so with height we're actually better off. Take him out. Look at that. Bang. Dead and gone. Love it. Okay, let's uh get some other people in position to make them shot. Headed there now. 62 or 32, let's go for the 62. Just keep getting in wood bullets. Two damage reduction is pretty extreme. Headed there now. 72% chance to hit Gibson. Give it some. I'm about to get One left. Which we can't get a good shot on from here. Um, but we could hop on round. Roger. And uh, be prepared. To pop the shop off next time. Could move forward with the uh, high barge. Yeah, let's, uh, let's head over to there. I think that's probably the safest place. We've still got the sniper covering us along the top. And uh, if we pull Balaz forward as well, Double time. it's uh, quite a good selection of people all moving forwards on this thing. Where are you going to go, little drone? One. And then a double move, that's fine. You're just making it easier for everyone to hit. Like, except for these two, of course. They're now further away. And we've got some meld over in that corner, that's quite good. So, starting with Gibson, what's your chance to hit 63? We could get directly underneath it and, uh, and improve that. I think that's probably going to be a good rolling. idea. Move Gibson forward. 72% chance to hit. So we're giving Gibson a, a couple more kills than normal because we want to get our Rocketeers up before we start needing them properly. Uh, let's move I'm rolling. around. Let's see if we can spot where this meld is. Not yet. It's a horrible, horrible open area. We're going to move up there. Checking. Slowly and carefully. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, at the same time, we do need to be careful with these things. The double move forward Solid to there. That should be relatively safe. Still in hard cover from anything on that side, and unless we get to prize flanked by something on the road, we should be fine. Mm -hmm. Running to this edge of the car. Now we're just uh, moving people forwards. Rolling out. Into pretty safe cover. You can steady a weapon. There's nothing to see at the moment. Uh, 
while it's a little bit quiet, we can take the opportunity to uh, get some reloads going as well. Gong. Gong can move. Headed there now. Peeking around the edge, that's relatively safe. Go on, Overwatch. That means we can just. Uh, Heading to that location. Up. Reload. Back online. Let's uh, start heading forward. I'm on the move. Let's see where this man Alien is. There it is. Can't quite make it to heavy cover over there, but we can do the other one. You can though. Orders confirmed. Okay. Moving out. Go take that spot, and you know, just hope that there's no one down there. Who's on? No one down there. Okay. Location confirmed. Moving faster with everyone else. You can carry on studying your weapon up on top of the lobby. Heading out. Yeah. Steady weapon. So it could be that there's only one more bit of contact. Ah, Shh. over there. You hear that? That's fine. You can make it all the way down here. You can make it. This Position confirmed. Cool. I bridge, get that meld. It's been secured. Ten meld, love it. Then carry on moving forwards and taking cover. Now this may be close enough to the trigger. No, it's not. So the contacts somewhere over here. They could be up on this edge, but more likely they're going to be uh, somewhere down in the middle. Time to motor. Keep moving across like this. Um, We'll put ourselves in a very good position for um, getting them in a crossfire. Okay. Move you out and steady your weapon just in case you do get a chance to rock it. Running. Move you down. Hostile spotted. There they are. Okay. Now we should be in a position to get a flank on that one already with uh, Akanabi. Fucking lobby. Straight away. Dead and gone. Look at that. That's an amazing silhouette. That's probably going to be our thumbnail. The others have retreated a little bit, um, but uh, that shouldn't cause us too many issues because I reckon we can. Yeah, we can probably get into a decent position to see them and start uh, taking them out without putting ourselves in great difficulty. A shame that uh, from that side we could go here, we're not going to be flanked there, but uh, okay. Hop down, go, take some commander. cover. <laughs> Oh, we've got a flank on that with Akinlabi, but we don't want them to get all the kills. We do want our rookies to have Incoming a pop fire. shot. So this is quite good. Both of them uh, shooting at Gong, because he's in the top cover relatively straight forward. Gong is going to run across and get a flank on this one. Position confirmed. And not trigger the outsider. Wonderful. 62. Can you make it? Yes, you can. He's Brilliant. Dead. At this point, um, we may as well uh, bring Gibson across. Moving to designated coordinates. Arkan Lobby is the emergency. No one else can uh, can kill this bugger guy. We don't want to charge straight up there, but we can. Shotgun's not going to hit at that range. But, uh, That's affirmative. These might if we get in position. Not there, they won't. Maybe there. Time to motor. Move. I guess we are gonna take it. All right. More sniping practice. Hundred percent chance to hit. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> Kill confirmed. Okay, let's uh, 
move people up a little bit and uh, get people reloading. Uh, okay. We'll see if we can uh, get a scan Ready in there engage. with hate. You can steady your weapon. Ah, I didn't bring a uh, battle scanner with Kate. Well, that was an oversight. Um, didn't bring a battle scanner with anyone. No. Okay, not a problem. We're just going to uh, have to breach the old-fashioned way, which is face-checking. Um, we don't want to move up too quickly then. Moving. That will do. Hunky down. Roger that. From the way that this is going, move. I'm thinking that the outside is probably on the far back. Locked and loaded. And I don't mind taking it a little bit slower for this to, this last bit. Shh. You hear that? Okay. Let's uh see if we can't. Make it across to here. Heading there now. Triggering. Cool. So we've got someone right up close who's got a flashbang. That's a uh, nice and straight uh, straight forward. All over what you measure. It could be that there's still uh, still more contact in there in addition to the uh, the outsider, but we want to get our people into a good position to reach across. So let's. Aye aye, commander. So this is a double move. One. And we can take this side and peek round, which is a little bit dangerous, but not as dangerous as, uh, as taking this one. I'm on it, Commander. So let's move on up. Time to kick this sucker off. And cool. We've got the sectors triggered first. That's what we wanted. Can we still see any of them? No. But we don't mind that. Uh, you can steady your weapon in anticipation of moving forwards. You can uh, carry on uh, steadying, and we'll just gradually drag people forwards until uh, we're in a good position to take them out. Uh, might as well hunker down. Ballas can uh, move out. forwards into soft cover. Hopty, 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 hop. No, oh, fifteen percent chance to hit three damage. Ouch! Now, luckily, that was uh, that was all armor damage, but uh, even so, that's now minus fourteen percent chance to hit. Very painful. Can't see it from up there. Who's got a med kit? You've got a med kit. Under there, or are you just going to expose him? That's fine. I'm rolling. Nice to say, heal him up. Easy now, Can't have soldier. people taking injuries on this mission. And now a quick test does uh, does that actually stop us from uh, getting the battle fatigue? It does. Much better. Uh, 45% chance to hit. It's not brilliant, but you're going to get two shots, so make them count. Well, bye who bye. needs two shots when the first will do? Steady your weapon for the next time. Um, you may as well carry on. In fact, we'll put you on Overwatch just in case anyone wanders around the edge. Um, Overwatch here as well. Steady your weapon just in case you need to fire a rocket and. Move forward there, but that's just asking to trigger something through that gap. Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit too dangerous for this turn, so we'll we'll not do that. We will move this yes, here, though. It's a little bit closer, and um, you can move down. Ooh, they did come around the side. Fifty percent chance from Michael Larby. It's, it's like he just had his head explode all over the floor. That means there's only one sectoid left 
like we planned to take a bit of uh, cover over there and uh, shooting up and Larby. That's painful, but not entirely unexpected. We're going to have to retreat up and Larby. 47% chance to hit is just not going to cut it, and also, you know, being as injured as he is, we want to get him closer to medkit. I think we've got one more medkit. Where did we go? Gone. Maybe we don't have another medkit. Okay, no problem. Rolling. Hop on down, take some good cover, and you may as well steady your weapon from there. Now at this point I'm thinking uh, steadying an overwatch for everyone is uh, going to be the best thing we can do. Wait for them to come to us. Overwatch, overwatch, hunker. Put you back into cover and uh, Overwatch as well. Let's see if he comes forward into the Overwatch trap. Shh. I think I heard something. There he is. 52% chance. Oh, oh God. God damn it. Letting us down. Gibson. Yes. I don't know how you managed to get the bullets flying that way, but uh, it was a pretty spectacular hit. Okay. Dirty weapon, let's uh, get everyone prepped for triggering the outsider. Um, Overwatch. Reload. Ready to rock! Dirty weapon. We want to get you into a better position for shooting. Probably up here. Or up here. Up here. Got it! Please Moving. don't trigger, please don't trigger, please don't trigger, please don't trigger. Good. Dirty weapon. It should just be the outside left. So these uh, these last bits where we're getting people steadying and uh, and everything there just to put us in a good position. I'm on it. Triggering. And yeah, there's one over there. there. Steady weapon. Steady weapon. Steady weapon. Steady weapon. Decide who we're going to trigger with, and uh, how we're going to manage this. Shh. You hear that? If I do it with coat. That could possibly be the best. I charge in and across to this side. Um, I'll probably run forward and take cover there. But if I dash all the way over here, it could push them forwards. Always risky, but it could be worthwhile. Or we can dash across to here. Yeah, let's dash across to here and see if we can freak them out into to running Moving. the other direction. Got something over here. There we go. Freak them out a bit. Does everyone have good shot on him? No, 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 no. That's all right. How are we going to manage this? We're going to flashbang him. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to. Step forward, flash. Okay. And then just put all of the murder all around him. Gibson can't see from there, but uh, could run down and get in a position to uh, throw an accidental rocket in. Good. Moving on target location. You can see though. 65%. May as well take it. Now get him next time. 45%. Oh, he's gonna regenerate that damage, but at least 
that damage means he's not going to be hitting anyone else. I'm on the move. Balor's up. Balor can get a shot as well. That's good. He's not going to be at full health at the start of the next round. We can't quite uh, make it all the way around to flank, but we can make it across a bit and then down, or we can head straight on down this way. Head straight on down this way and not going to have enough movement to come around and flank. That's probably going to be the Already best move. There. Now we come back in lobby. Please don't die. Please don't die. Where are you going? 1% chance. He wants to kill Akin Larby, but he's Incoming not going to hit that. He generated 3 health. Okay. Such a professional team. 27% chance to get that injury really stings. Can you take him? No. Adjusting aim. Get a flank from okay. here. Take that. But we want to do as much extra damage as possible first. That's a pretty safe rocket. It's only 3.1 tile scatter though. That's going to destroy everything. So we won't do that. Okay. Gibson, just get as close as you can. Don't worry about just, you know, walking through cover. 64% chance. Nice. That's definitely going to help. Kite can come Welcome. across. And that's a flanking position. It's a 55% chance to hit. That's not bad. Uh, how is it with uh, pistol? 60%. Take the pistol. Perfect. Rookie gets the kill. Come on, Rookie. Bring it home. 90%. Don't miss. Operational objectives completed. Oof. Okay, so that was Operation Gaping Knife. Other than uh, Akinlabi taking a shot on the roof, um, that mission went pretty well. Uh, if I put Akinlabi down into the uh, into the barn, it would have had a bit of cover, and that probably would have been a more sensible move. Um, but the line of sight from on top of that barn is just too good to turn down at this level. Right, how long are you in the med bay for? 13 days. That's... It's not the worst that it could have been. We've got some good promotions though. Uh, Gibson's made it up to Lance Corporal already, so is uh, Agbaji. Uh, we've got a new scout sniper, which probably means uh, Ballas is going to be a sniper, because we've got three scouts already. And uh, we've got uh, an assault, probably in Gong. Brilliant. Six sectoid corpses, three drone wrecks. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, we got an intact UFO power source, that's good, that's worth 60 bucks. Uh, 11 meld, and 2 UFO flight computers. Brilliant. Okay, let's just sell those, uh... Banners. Several members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. Item. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Okay, well it's always safe selling the damaged things. Uh, so that's 90 bucks that we didn't have before. We're making quite a lot of money. Uh, let's just uh, pop to engineering, see if there's anything that we can build. Uh -huh. We've got uh, a satellite on the way. Um, we could get another satellite going. We need more power as well. Alright, let's have a look at uh, facilities. Uh, get that excavating. Now that's a shame having that there. Um, let's start going down. Um, ideally we'd want a, a 3x2 uh, section for all our satellites uh, with the steam in the way. That's just going to cause us no end of, uh, of difficulties. Um, what we can do though is we can put our little power block over here that we're going to want to pull. Maybe down there. I don't know. I, I don't want to be moving the satellite uplinks as we go. Uh, so we're just going to need to work without the steam, I think. We can, however, get another satellite building. Uh, so we'll build five items. Satellite. Uh, 
Yeah, that's fine. So 25 days, it's not going to be this month, but it will be before the end of next month at least. And then uh, just back to scanning for more UFOs. One of our injuries back. And, ooh, abductions just before we start saying it. Commander, we, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. Okay, so we're heading to Nashville in the United States of America. Give me just a moment and I'll put a lovely team together and uh, we'll see if we can't uh, can't resolve these abductions. It's a roadway, so it's probably going to be quite uh, long lines of sight. Um, let's see if we can... Uh, go to the Okay, that's uh, that's everyone geared up. Um, everyone's also wearing the correct uniforms, which is perfect. Uh, so let's uh, hop straight on in. Oh, uh, right, equipment choices. Um, remember, to take battle scanner on the scout this time. Uh, we've got uh, Shahan being our scout, as the others are either injured or tired. Um, we're taking uh, engineer, medic, infantry, and gunner. We don't have any snipers available at the moment, um, which is a bit of a shame. And uh, yeah, we should be uh, should be ready to go um, with the uh, gunner and the infantry. Uh, we've got laser sights on them just because of the amount of bullets they're going to be putting out. They needed. We've got the uh, Glamini with uh, our med kit, and uh, our rookie is uh, bringing along an extra med kit. I'm just going to make sure that we don't have any uh, any promotions that need to be made, and then we'll be ready to go. Dropship has arrived. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. Alright, uh, join me next time for Operation Black Mammoth. See you soon.